Right, oh my friends, let's start. The British Empire in the 1800s, also known as the 19th century, from the Battle of Waterloo to the Boer War. Britain, having defeated Napoleon in the Peninsula Wars and the Napoleonic Wars, funnily enough, had become the dominant power in the entire world. Um, with one possible exception of the bear, which was Russia. And they had a huge, massive empire. If you look at any map of the British Empire, it will have probably about a third of the world covered in red, which was the British bit. Um, they had lost America just before, and they still hung on to Canada. And they had Australia, lots of Asia, bits of Africa, um, and it was all linked together through their naval capability. India was known as the jewel in the crown because it was so important. Um, had lots of raw materials, um, it was a central trading post, and Britain were very scared that it would be taken and attacked by somebody else. Um, namely Russia, the, the biggest suspects, uh, and everything in British policy in the 19th century, the 1800s, was done to try and protect India. Okay, Britain therefore had to fight a few wars during this period of time, um, which they generally tended to win, with varying degrees of success. The Crimean War, was won against the Russians, uh, the Opium Wars against the Chinese, and the Boer Wars against the South Africans. But the British Army wasn't necessarily particularly strong. It was well equipped because of their industry, the Brits, and the fact that they'd industrialised before most of the countries. And despite their army not being a huge one, it was competent. But their main skill relied on, well, their main skill was the Navy, and they relied upon the Navy more than anything else and saw themselves as a naval power. Hence, rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. I can see myself doing this while I'm talking, and I realise that I do look like a complete numpty. Okay, that concludes the first bit of this first video podcast. I will see you after the short break.